Hello, kings, queens, nerds, and geeks. Powder Milk here, and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, guys, I hear this game may look happy and friendly, but it gets really, really dark and depressing. So, also, it even gave me a warning in the beginning of the anime, beginning of anime, beginning of the game, that if you suffer from depression or anxiety, you shouldn't play this game. You should be warned that this could really affect you in some way. Um, and those under 13 should be watching, so I'm going to put that in now. So anyway, here we go. Um, Doki Joki Literature Club. I wonder how this is going to play out. I was very curious because I was watching one of MatPat's videos. I never finished it, but he mentioned something about this game. And it made me think, if it's dark, it should be on my channel. There we go. And, then, and that's how this starts, so how I got to this. So let's start a new game. Oh, wait. Can't, oh, wait. Uh, no, uh, ah, fuck, I meant to hit settings. Well, I, I guess I'll change the settings later. So let's enter a name. Go powder. Powdered? Oh, uh, wait. Oh, I can't go any more than that. Milk. There we go. I'll, I'll just work with that. Powdered milk. Oh, verse, before we continue. Let's go to the settings real quick. Um, change the text speed. Um, okay, and return. Okay. Hey! I, s I see an annoying girl running towards me in the from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw herself. This girl- the girl is S Sayori. Sayori, my neighbor and a good friend since we were children. I know the kind of friend you never see yourself making in today, but she just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she been an over- she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of wait waiting up. But if she is going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe you only, only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Man, my character's a dick! Eh, you say that like you were thinking of about ignoring me. I, the pout face is kind of adorable. I'm gonna say that right now. That's mean, powdered milk. Well, if you stare, if, if people stare at you for acting weird, but the, and uh, and I don't want them to think that you're a cup, we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you don't did wait for me after all. Is my character a male? Please tell me my character's male. If I get to choose, the, I'd probably choose female. Probably, I probably end up choosing female anyway. So, I guess you don't have to fit have it in you to- <clears throat> I guess you don't have it to be mean if you want to- Whatever you say, S Sayori. Sayori. I hope that's how I'm pronouncing it right, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As lo as we draw near, the streets become increasingly spectacle with other students making their da daily commute. Oh, by the way, Powdered Milk, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm, al I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would, jo you would join a club this year. I did I? I'm sure it's possible that I, I did in one way in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. My character is a complete ass. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me, and when I'm perfectly content, just get getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Games and anime. Sounds like my life. Actually, that sounds like my my life with my wife. I, I, kind of coincidentally. Uh huh. I was talking about how I would work. I was talking about how I'm worried about that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. See, Siori is a good friend. Okay, you should quit being such a dick. And I know you're happy. You're happy now, but I'd die a, at the thought out of you becoming a neat for a few a year in a few years because you're not used to a real to the real world. Tr you trust me, right? Don't let me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs and if it'll make you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! <laughs> Why do I let myself get lectured by such a ca carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess it seems her worrying so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does not exaggerate everything inside her head. Well then. Sorry guys, talking a lot makes my throat hurt. School- 
The school day is ordinary as ever, and it's over before you know, I know it was over before I know it. After I pack my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. She already wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with, an a with the anime club. Hello? Siori? Siori must have come up to class while I was uh, spacing out. Come into my class while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you up coming up to the cl coming out of the class, but I saw you're just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you were even wor er worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. I'm not gonna ask. Like, what the hell? You don't need to wait up for me if you're going to make me late for your own club. Well, I thought I might need some e encouragement, so I thought, you know. You know what? Well, you could come to my eye club. Why were you blushing, Siori? Yeah! There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, yeah, meanie. Siori is vice president of the literature club. Not all I've ever aware is she had my interest in... I was... <clears throat> Not that I was ever aware that she had an interest in literature. In fact, 99% sure she would only did it because she thought it would it'd be fun to help start a club, new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to be the I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I think I could be. T I told this club yesterday I, I would bring in, in a new member, and Natsuke made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. <clears throat> I can't tell Siori if it's really much of an airhead if she's so cunning to ha have planned this all out. I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for cupcakes, okay? Yes, let's go. Yay! Let's go! <laughs> oh, fuck. I fucked it up. <clears throat> oh, man, my throat. Sorry, guys. I came back from a long bike ride. Uh, and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Okay, I I'm kind of getting where it might be get dark with that sentence. I sold my soul. I think it might be literal. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs in the section of school. Oh, I rarely visit, and we can generally use the third year classes and acti activities. Sayori, full of energy, swipes open the classroom door. Everyone, a new member is here! I told you, don't ma call me a new member. And I glance around the room. Girl 1. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Siori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a- Seriously, you brought a boy? Girl 2. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, powdered milk! What a nice surprise! Girl 3. Welcome to the club. I don't know- I don't know if that should be their voices or not. All words escape me from this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say s something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. This girl with a sour att attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also one who made cupcakes, according to Siori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Siori says she qu that qu says that quietly into her ear, then turn. Says that quietly in my ear, and then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Oh, she's embarrassed about it. Don't be embarrassed about being smart, that's a good thing to be. Don't be cocky about it, though, because that makes you an ass. Yuri, who appears a apparently, uh, a mature, uh, apparently mature and timid, Seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet you both. Uh, wait, I'm doing the wrong voice. Oh, uh, well, it's nice to meet you both. And it sounds like you really know, you already know Ma Monica, Manika, Manika, or Monica. I, I don't know how to say that. I'm going to say Manika. Is, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Powdered Milk. Monica smiles sweetly. And that classic pose, it's like all the hands behind your back, bent over, with the, with the cheeky smile. You know, I, I, God, that's a classic one in most anime. And do we, we do, who know each other? Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, and athletic. 
basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me is generally a it was a little... You, you, you too, Monica. Come sit uh, down, Powder Milk. We made, made room for you at the table so, 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 uh, so you can sit next to me and Monica. Some tells me this kid's only going to join because of the girls. Well, my character, that is. <clears throat> hey, I made them. I'll, I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. And then, how about we make some tea as well? The, the girls have a few de escarate to form a table. As Siori uh, mentions, it's, it's a iron so that there is no space next to Monica and one space next to Siori. Okay. Natsu- uh, pfft, sorry guys. Natsuki walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil and the tray revealed a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Please show a picture of them. They might look adorable. I don't like cats, but they might look adorable. The whiskers are drawn in the icing, and little pieces of chocolate were to make the ears. So cute! I had no idea they were, you were good at baking, Natsuki. Eat? Well, yeah, you know. Just hurry and take one. Suri grabs one first, and then Monica and I follow. It's delicious! Oh, come on, show a picture of the cake! Suri takes her, uh, talks with her mouth. Oh, full and has all, all, already managed to get icing on our face. I turned the cupcake around my fingers, and looked the took the best angle and look for, looking for the best angle to take a bite. <clears throat> Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice that she her, her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't I heard this somewhere before, M even for you or anything. Sisa Sundure, Sundure, Sisa Sundure, right immediately. Um, let me get this straight. So, if I um, I don't remember all the durees. So uh, hold on, I'm gonna try to look them up. Hold on. Sorry guys. Um, if I this is gonna pop up, I'm gonna try to move it to my second screen. Hold on. Okay, this one's a tsundere, right? Okay, okay, I got it right. It was tsundere. Our, our character that we're with is, uh, is a dure dure. Someone who is a hyper and loving dure a archetype, I guess. Is a hi hyper and loving dure archetype. So she's very that much. And then there's that one girl who's shy. She's a dundere. So I had to look these up just right. Well, maybe... Not for you, you, you know, you, dummy. All right, all right. I give him a nut to these weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a t carrying a, a tea set. She carefully places the key cup in front of us before settling down in the tea teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the cla this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. Hey, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yours just trying to impress you. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out her. I don't know her yet. Uh, that's not insult. And uh, Yuri looks away. I meant that you know. Yeah, she's definitely a dandere. I, I believe you. I believe you. Well, tea. Well, tea and reading might be a good pastime for me, but at least I. But I at least may not be a. Not be a good pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. I'm starting to suspect what she is. She's probably one of those ones who toy with emotions. I'm trying to find it here. Um, a character who said, Okay, maybe a Seidore. Maybe a Seidore. The one who enjoys messing with people's emotions. Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragging in here by Seriori. Well, I haven't joined any club yet. Sorry, seems really happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel all right at home, okay? As president of Leaders Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? 
You could it'd probably be a board member of any other major club. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh-huh. Well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around on the major clubs. It feels like nothing arguing in, in the budget and pu publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I'd personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And I'm encouraging others to get into literature. Then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri is also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all their effort into starting something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab their attention like literature. You have to work to convince people who are both fun and worthwhile. It, it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I I'm confident that I can really grow this club uh, before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah, we'll do, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. So my guessing, she's also a leader type, so I'm going to keep looking. No, there's only 14 here. Uh... I see nature, a new character. Mm -hmm. So far, I don't know what her type is. I'm still gonna say she is a. Uh, hold on. Um, oh, so Odore. So far, Monica just wor worked really hard just to find these three. Uh, maybe that's why either also delightly by all ideas and new members joining. Though she still not really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, powdered milk. The kinds of things you do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I muttered her quietly myself, half jokingly. What's really head suddenly perks up? Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Sorry, did I say that wrong? N not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke out without thinking after seeing Yuri's fa sad fate. Smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri uh, traces a rim of her teacup uh, with a little her, with the rim of her finger. I'm, I'm imagining that, imagining this. You know, imagining this motion. So, my favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Harry Potter. Um, let's see. Uh, hmm. Aragon would be a good one. The books, not the fucking movie. Do not say it. I hate the movie of Aragon. I like the books, though. The books are so... Oh, good. Um, I, I wouldn't say Lord of the Rings, because I never really got interested in it. They were too deep. It was too deep. You, you're like... It was so wordy, and you're just like, Ugh, dialogue. Uh, anyway. The levels of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is much more foreign... Oh, they're equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems to be reserved and timid since uh, the moment I walked in, but it obviously in the ways her eyes light up when she finds a comfort in the world of books, not people. That's kind of most nerds, to be honest. We're very... not, um... hold on, this is bugging my camera, it's bugging me right now. Sorry. Anyway. Um... But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories are deep and psychological elements usually immerse me as well. I'm thinking Paranoia Agent when I heard the term psychologically. If you guys watch Paranoia Agent, God, the anime's fucking trippy! Um, isn't it amazing how the writer can so deeply ch uh, take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you out for a loop? I seriously love that, by the way. I could, I could probably get along well with this character. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. And I read horror book. I read a horror book once. I read a horror book once. I just really grasped something that I could relate to as a middle, in a, at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well have been having a conversation with a rock. Really, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. If she turns into a tsundere, I swear to fucking god. Not a tsundere, uh, a yandere. If she turns into a yandere fast, I'm gonna be fucking freaking out. But if the story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often a very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror! Oh, why is that? Well, I just... That's where his eyes dart over to it for, for me for a split second. Never mind. She's trying to be brave in front of me, as a tsundere would. They try to make themselves look better. Mm. 
I just realized I've been on this game for like almost 30 minutes. That's right, you usually like, like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind you last, uh, uh, last club meeting. Looks like you were working on a poem called, Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes and your poems, everything you do is such a cute as you are. Suri slides up behind Atsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Sounds like my wife! Natsuki, you write your own poems. <laughs> well, eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them with them sometime? N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. I wouldn't... You wouldn't like them. I'm not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing the levels of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Yeah, I, I find that... Here's a fun fact. I, uh, my, my mom had told me once that you are your worst critics. Those of you creators out there, like KCAT, who does the Fallout Equestria series, if you're watching this, um, she must have took a lot of courage to bring that book up. And it, it got so much positivity. It was so good. I'm still reading it under the process of reading it. I'm listening to it, but you get my point. And it's really good. And maybe to her, some parts she would like to change... But that, I don't know how she feels about it. Uh, my my wife, she's an artist. She tends to think her art isn't any good. But she does amazing work. Currently, she's doing portraits of my separate personalities. Between, you know, powdered milk, sour milk, banana milk. All those, those three personalities. And um, so far, she portrayed sour milk in the most amazing way. And she think, thinks there's something wrong with it. But it still looks really good. Like, I can't draw the way she can. Like, ugh. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm babbling. That's what Yuri is trying to say, that you are your worst critic. I, I'm guilty of this, because I used to look at my art, like, if I didn't like it, I threw it away. My mom was upset about that. I ended up giving her the, the failed drawings that she wanted to keep. So, uh, Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example of how Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for you, Yuri. Uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. Well, I'll sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's go home and write a poem of our own. And next time we meet, we'll all share our, uh, them with each other. And that way, everyone is even. Um, mm. Yay, let's do it! Plus, how about we have a little- our new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Powdered Milk? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. She's trying to force me into this. Hold on, there's still one problem. Well, what's that? Now that there's a back of the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth and it's been in my mind the entire time. I never said I would join the club. So I, I may have been con convinced me to stop by, but I never made the, this my any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my tra I, I lose my train of thought. All four of the girls stare back at me with dejecting eyes. But but I'm sorry. I thought, mm -hmm. powdered milk. You all, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to take make the clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is a price I need to pay for the order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. <laughs> Oh my god, he's gonna do it. He's gonna only do this because they're beautiful. That's what he's gonna do. I just realized they almost have the same cup size, except Sayori. Why did I notice that? Never mind, I'm a perv. Anyway, uh, wait, what's new? Right, okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. All One by one, the girls light, light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey! You it's scare me for a moment. If you really came in for the cupcakes, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be I would be super pissed. Only just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. And then that makes it official. Oh, wait, why did I hit Well, wait, go back, go back, return, return. That makes it official. I accidentally clicked history my mistake. Uh, that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Um uh, uh, thanks, I guess. 
Okay, everyone. I think I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on good a note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring it next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Powder milk, I look forward to seeing how to you express yourself. <laughs> I can usually impress the class star Monica with a um, mediocre writing skill. With my mediocre writing skills, I already feel the anxious anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Powder Milk, since you're really already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never ever walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, I might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us have to part of the club and make our way home. Well, the whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Monica. I just realized I keep calling her Monica. Oh, fuck it, just call her Monica, it's easier to say. Wait, uh, will I really be happy spending every day after school at the literature club? Perhaps I will come with the chance to grow closer with one of these girls. Alright, just need to make, make, make most of those circumstances I'm sure a good fortune will find me. I guess this starts with writing a poem tonight. Well, <clears throat> your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem m the most. Um, ho hold on guys, hold on. Apparently I'm supposed to do 20 of these, so... Unrestrained. Vibrant. Starscape. Oh, it's really going towards her. Um, hmm. Imagination. Um, Heartbeat. Oh, she liked that one. Okay, um, uh, together. Oh, that's Tsuyuri. Uh, apparently Monica is not getting the, uh, liking, so it's more focusing on those three. Pleasure. Oh. <laughs> Tenacious. Um, portrait. Um, ah, uh, sensation. Ah, uh, memories. Oh, okay. Um, um, uh, infallible, vivacious, insight, vacation, peace. Uh, Adventure, and let's see, uh, let's see, let's see, uh, Waterfall, uh, Suicide, Determination, Contamination, why does it go that far? Uh, lust, oh, <laughs> Pleasure and Lust, I see what you like, Yuri, Smile, and, and, Desire, Valentine, Last one, Marriage, so, Hi again, Powdered Milk. Man, this is gonna be a weird game. I'm glad to see you didn't uh, run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. It might be a little strange for me, but at least keep, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the Literary Club. At the last, I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Powdered Milk. I hope this isn't overwhelming for you to commitment for you. Making you dive head first into a literature, then you're not out accustomed into, accustomed to it. Oh come on! Like he deserves any slack. She already told me you didn't e even want to join any clubs this year, and last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Not Uki is er only have the big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the classroom. Mm mm. So she likes manga, I knew that, I kind of figured that much. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying, Monica and manga. Manga is literature. You're not wrong, I'm going to say that much. But you're also wrong at the same time, I guess you could say. Monica could be, Mon manga, I, I'm stuck saying it. Manga could be literature too, and put in the right mindset. Like, depending on how it's portrayed. If it's like straight up battle manga, it's probably not literature. Swiftly uh, defeated, Natsuki plops back to her seat. Don't worry, guys. Powdered Milk will always give his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with the busy work without me even asking. Like cooking and cleaning my room. <laughs> How dependable. Siori, that's because your room is so messy it's disgusting. And it's almost uh, your, uh, and you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. You are secretly dirty, and I think you're into BDSM and bondage. That's my theory. It usually happens with Sindores. 
That was my wife's theory. Me, mine, and my wife's theory on um, on Fluttershy and and My Little Pony. How come you and Powder Milk can become um, good friends too? Um, Sissori? Hmm. Hmm. As usual, Sissori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just puts me into. Oh, Yuri, me even brought you something to. Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori? Uh, me? Oh, no, not really. Don't be shy. That's really nothing. What is it? What is it? No, no never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. <clears throat> uh, what, what do I do? Oh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess it, me it means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you would be a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that s Oh. Yeah, I don't make it a big deal if you don't want to be. To be. Alright. Well, here. She reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want to, you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's short- It's a short read, so I keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. That this is how is this girl accidentally be actually uh, girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'm definitely read. Th I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you could read it on your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some schedule activities for the club. Now guys, when I was a kid, I didn't like reading much, probably other than Goosebump books, and those were the only ones I'd read. But then, one day a teacher was reading a specific book I really wanted to read, and I didn't want to read anything else until I read that book. And there is the book. I found it. It was called the Percy Jackson series. And uh, I read it. And that's what got me into books. I couldn't stop reading them. I read like a motherfucker. I gotta seriously slow my hell to, slow the hell down. But seriously, I got like a small book of shell books I have to read. I still haven't read them all yet. But seriously, I do have books. Now that everyone's settled in, I'm expecting Monica to kick off some schedule activities for the club. It doesn't seem to be the case. So Yuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. And I can't help but notice that her intense expression, like she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the of her book. Is he really only focusing on Yuri? Is this just part of the way I choose my game? It looks like the same book from this, that she lent to me. More than that, it seems to be the first few pages. Uh... Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks over and glances at me and her eyes meet for a split second. Mm. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in the book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this sensing and I made her... And I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. If I was focused... If I was focused then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I... I just reread a bit of this so... That's the book you get Amy, right? Hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for a particular reason. Just curious how come you, you two have two copies of the same book. Uh. Well, I'm not supposed to. When I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, that's not what I. Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me. But I decided to let it go. I'd definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once I start I pick it up, you might ha have to hard time putting it down. I'm very engaged in a relentless story. Is that so? What's, uh, what's it about anyway? Well, hmm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes o over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't oh, accidentally give you anything give anything away. Basically, it's about uh, this girl in high school who moves with her long ter y long lost younger sister, and as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from the human experiment prison, and while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. 
No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationship with her life starting to fall apart. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri maybe made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that the dark turn came from nowhere. She's a sender. She's a yandere. I can feel it. She's a yandere. She's a yandere. I am. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Ah. Oh god, I'm getting you know gossip moment. You know gossip feel tingling foam moments. Ah. Dang you, future diaries. Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you the most fit end of those? You're not a fan of those sort of thing. For are you not a fan of those sort of things, Powder Milk? No, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy these kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I, know, I t totally forgot that Yuri isn't into those things. She's she's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. That's usually the case with, uh, uh, su uh not Sundare's, uh, Dater Dendere. Dandere's. Um, but it's also true with Yandere's. Dandere and Yandere, they rhyme. Yet again, they all rhyme, because they all end in Dere! Uh, they challenge you to look, look at life for a more, or change, <clears throat> for a strange new perspective. Uh, when horrible things happen, not just because someone wants it to be evil, but because they want, they have their own goals and their own philosophy they have, believe in. And suddenly, then you thought oh, you related to the, the protagonist. They're made out of the naive one letting their own one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lo lots of interest or- I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I ha have this problem when I let th things like books and writing fill my thoughts. Sorry guys, I'm tired. <sighs> I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. I'm so- so I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange, and please stop at me if it start talking too much. That's I really don't think you need to worry. That's that's just means it means you're passionate about reading. At least I could do. The least I could do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Uh, that's well, that's true. In fact, I might as well start reading it, right? Get start reading. You don't have to. Uh, what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Let me just get to the book. I quickly retrieve the book, and then I pull out of my bag. All right, it's fine. And if I sit here, right? I slip in the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, she's clearly into me. Well, my character, whatever he is, because I am not like this character. I should have named him Powder Milk, because he's nothing like me. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open a book and start the prologue. I soon understand that Yuri means that about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but feeling it, the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over, and she looks like she's reading m my book instead. So sorry, I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do. I don't really mean to. I'm sorry. I mean... <laughs> I'm not joking, that's a common thing. If you tell people not to apologize so much, they'll immediately apologize for it. Th that is a common thing. I slide my desk up to... Until it's up next to Yuri's, and then I hold my book more er, between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, her shoulders are almost touching. I feel like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right arm to hold the book open. Um, uh, I guess it makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. So this is how they're imagining. Yuri makes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between e and her thumb and, f and forefinger. Uh, it, I, <clears throat> I do the same with the right arm and the only side of the book. That way I turn the, I, I turn the page and Yuri slides on, under her thumb um, after it, it, it flips on her side. But I'm holding it like this. We're huddling closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It says it. If I feel a warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. 
Are you ready? Uh, to turn the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glanced over Yuri's face again, her and her eyes meet. I don't know, know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. I'm not used to reading, right? You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. I'm probably, at le it's probably the least I can do. <laughs> Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. C we continue reading. Yuri is no longer asking if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished the page before me, so I turn my my own uh, own uh, uh, volation. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning the page almost feels like an uh, an intimate exchange. My thumbs generally let in go of the page, letting the flutter over her sides as she catches under her thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a bit silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You you think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she does also second guess a lot of things and say as, as and does. Ugh. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see you and in, and in, in, see into her head or any, anything, but uh, they're kind of. A rem Missing for some ways and some of their mannerisms. I see. Yuri really reminds me of the si- Remain silent for a moment. But powder milk. That's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think of that. But wait, wait. I didn't mean that in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really don't know oh, you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I'm more meant to be kind of cute. It's, it's kind of cute. Uh... What are you saying all, saying all of a sudden? Uh, <clears throat> okay, everyone. Uh, I think it's about time we share oh, today's poems with each other. We might ha have enough time if we wait ain't too long. I'm gonna guess because I chose things that are more her, it's gonna make me go for her more. I'm guessing that's what the game's trying to get me to do. Which, I'm not complaining. I actually like this character more than the others. Yuri exhales, share... Spares her from uh, finishing her thoughts. Is that, that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry, I haven't been looking forward to this. And it's not... Ow, it's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, and ca causing it to close on top of my thumb. <sighs> sorry. I'm still tired. All right. I guess I'll do some reading tonight. Doing some, Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Uh, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little bit more tonight. It'll be more fun to read it with you after it, pick after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good re reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters on your own, own, own time. Alright. I stand up. I'll make a mental note where I left off in the book and slip back into my bag. By the way, do you remember the right of poem last night? Yeah, yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something like do something so embarrassing. Uh, I couldn't really uh, find that much <clears throat> find that much inspiration since I really I really never done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you uh, find something you sh to share with? I can't wait. Yuri and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Yuri is on the wrinkling sheet. It's of the O's with those leaf torn from the spiral uh, notebook. The other, on the other hand, Monica wrote hers with a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's uh, uh, pristine handwriting from uh, wherever I sit. Where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri are likely comply as well, reaching their reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Sayori. I'm definitely the most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's a good friend, after all. Hmm. This is a good poem, Powder Milk. Are you really sure it's the first time? Of course. It's not that good. I'm kind of a guy who would be writing poems in the spare time. <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why I'm impressed. Well, to be honest, I was afraid you wouldn't do it seriously. Or you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy you just that you just wrote one. It just it reminds me of how you really are part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. 
Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but it doesn't mean I'll, I'll break my promise. See? It's not, like I said, Powder Milk. Deep down, you're get, not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this, like this for other people. That's something that you really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how, how much this uh, means to her and all, yeah? I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will, <clears throat> that will be ways of think. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Uh, <clears throat> that will be my way of thinking, of thanking you. All right, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poems too, right? Don't worry, I'll, I'll re I'm really bad at this. Well, I'll see, we'll see about that. Dear sunshine, the way you glow through your blinds, uh. Um, where you go through the blinds in the morning, and it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing your my forehead to help me out in bed, making me rub my sleepy, sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish for a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. But if I wasn't for you, I wouldn't, I would sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. That's actually pretty uh, cute, I'll be honest. Siori? This is... This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until the morning to write this? No? Just a little bit. You can't answer that just a, a little bit to yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least it makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I'm still tired. tried my best. Ah, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, and how- Or how, how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> that sounds delicious right now, eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I can't- I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> that This one was so much fun. Monica is the best. Oh, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Please tell me how I get to show the rest. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Let's go with Yuri. Mm. Yuri reads the poem and notice her eyes lighten up. Exceptional. And what's that? Did I, did I say that out loud? Yuri first, uh, first covers her mouth and then ends up covering her whole face. Apparently, she really likes it. Uh, he's going to she, He's going to hate me. Uh, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Uh, that's... I guess you're right. What's what am I getting nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use in imagery and metaphors indicate you've written lots of poems before. Now, uh, uh, here's this. Uh, I actually, um... Um, during my dark phase, like my... I guess you could call it my emo phase... Um, I did a lot of poetry, and I called, I did a we. I don't know why I did this, I called myself Wicked, and I'm embarrassed to call myself that now. And I, I actually had a book that said Wicked the Rhapsode on it, and I wrote poems, I wrote poems and small stories, it was so great. I actually, uh, love doing that, and I, I kind of wish I could get back into it. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. That is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly and then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just met, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her fingers along the words of the poem as if it's breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason why I'm able to tell. It's just that there's so there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And, ha and having uh, been through that myself, I've been... I kind of learned to pick up on, up on them. I think that mo most noticeable thing I recognize is in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from a topic matter, and they form it, it, them two together. The end result is both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train in thought, is it, it's as if her demeanor totally changed. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you, you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even more even a simple poem. That's not I, fine. 
not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together so pr properly that most challenging part. It, it might take you some time, but it all comes to practice your learning by example and trying new things. I, so, I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you a valuable feedback. That Suuki can be a little more biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't have talked about people like that. Sorry. It's okay. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts process behind it. Yuri uh, smiles dreamily as if she, uh, that's rare an opportunity for her. What if it ends out bad? Uh, which itself is kind of funny. After all, this isn't supposed to be a, li be a literature club. I can barely read the handwriting because I'm not good with this. Go. I was underneath the light. Am I? Is there a way that I could put this under read mode? The trendles of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be either this one. The last uh, remaining street light that have whistled in the best of time. The last yet to be replaced by a sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe calm, breathing air in the present, but living in the past. The light I kick in back. Kick in back. Wait, I hick her back. Is that what it says? Uh, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I, wa I wasn't thinking of that, that at all. I'm just, it's not that it's terrible handwriting, I just can't read cursive that well. And it wasn't in cursive, it was just... It was written as if it was in cursive. No, it took, a long, uh, took you a long time to read. Uh, well, it's just I, I don't read script very often. I, re I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Huh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it's really it's really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since our, our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Sometime easy to, something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Powder Milk. Really? I must have usually missed... I, must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only a glance over it, after all. But remember that poems often express their own thoughts, feelings, and expressions of their work. That is true! Ah, uh, that is true. I remember writing a poem that was about two lovers, but it was put it, written as if they were wolves. I remember doing that. The Alpha and the Omega, you know? That's, I remember doing that once. Uh, in this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering the past, remaining uh, placed in comfort, able to let go of the past. I'm actually loving Yuri. I, I love Yuri as character. As soon as to be left with nothing. And that's not a lot more solemn. Um, put it that way. I can't... <clears> oh <throat> uh, boy, I'm, my throat. I hadn't even thought of that. It's That's impressive. Uh, it's nothing, really. Yours is impressive too, so... Nah. If anything, I'd probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Powder Milk. Uh, me too. Okay, we still got two more people, and basically, I can only sh uh go with basic expressions for for three of them. But I'm thinking Monica is gonna like it either way. Natsuki, the Sundore. Well, it's about time. What I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It's just it didn't evoke my emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for my t for your taste. Do you want me to get? Do you want me want to get smacked? I'll pass. Hmm. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. So I didn't favor her at all. So it favored towards Yuri and Yuri. Uh, see. I think that's how you pronounce it. Fuck, I forgot how to pronounce her names. Natsuki, uh... Nothing like that. Nothing like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. I mean, I have to admit, it's kind of bad. We are gonna make them all good. Yeah? I told you that I weren't, uh, you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just to be, just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because 
Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sim sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even tr take my writing seriously. But isn't it the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your meshes any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you, it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everything around you do great things being really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But on the other hand, one of the nice things about simple writing is that, <clears throat> that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set it up for a rhyme in my head, but it it fall all flat on purpose. It helps me bring out my feelings in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into the... Uh, you guess... I guess more went into than I realized. That's what I meant to be. That's why I, it means to be a pro. I bless you learn something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care about how old she really is, but every even if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Now, finally, Monica. I think this is where I'm going to cut it off if I if I go to the next part. Monica. Hi, Powder Milk. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you're ever having any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things that you can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much I'm much better off going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Powder Milk. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, everybody's had to get learned to get past. Seriously. Guys, when I first started YouTube, I was embarrassed! Uh, I, w I didn't know how to respond. Uh, my first video was asking, what should I post? Post, what should I start? How my channel should start? I was embarrassed to make that video, and I did that on my phone. Because I didn't have a camera. I, everything, so I, I started off slow, and stuff like that. Anyway, I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. Great job, Powder Milk. I was going to, oh, oh. I was going to, oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I don't expect that I go, expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I'm underestimating you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That's okay. It's always kept... Ounce when I, I put some effort. Aha, uh -huh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes that kind of writing, right? So it is more Yuri. Ri ri writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. So I didn't say it right. And Yuri likes it when readers can left their derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I'm something tells me she's a different kind of character. She's more of explaining the game to me. It's very challenging to write it like that effectively, both allowing people to get something out of it and just feel by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all their nuisance. I can take years of practice, but assuming Yuri ha has the, this point, I never really asked though. I'm sure we're I'm nowhere near at her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. Do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn to try new things. I'm sure you'll end up in different things a lot. I would take a little while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way I, I find, <clears throat> find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might I'd be a little biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'm always helped to find that suits you the most. I, I can't read well. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, do you want me to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. The se you said I'm pretty confident for someone who claims it's not very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always have to feel that way, you know? I see. Well, I guess let's read it then. Hole in the wall. I wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have, couldn't have been me, see the direction the sparkle pr protrudes, the spackle protrudes. The noisy neighbor and angry boyfriend, 
I'll never know. It wasn't home. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I feel blind, like a film left out of the sun. But it's too late. My, uh, my retinas already scorched with the permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's like a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It's too deep, stretching forever in into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that what I wasn't looking in, I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. My portraying of this poem is that there was some kind of domestic violence in the beginning. So, what do you think? Um, it's very free form. What's it? What's that? Uh, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really that right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yes, that's kind of the style that's gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis in the t I, I mean, between words and lines. And when performed <coughs> out loud, it can be really powerful. That's a insp It was inspired. <clears throat> what was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if you know uh, how to how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epi epiphany recently. Epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of something, kind of coming on strongly. Maybe a after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica as writing in Kip of the Day. Sometimes when you write a poem or a story, your brain gets too f fixated on a specific point. And if you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make a progress. Just force, you, just force yourself to get something down on, the, on paper and tidy up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your, your, your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just us, move your hand and go with the flow. It's kind of usually what I have to do. When I feel the emotion coming through of when I write a poem, I just let the pen flow, basically. That is my advice to, for today. Thanks for listening. <sighs> Pew! I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. It was a little more stressful than anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for their medio judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across from the room, so Yuri and Monica are happily chatting, and my eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. I gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their representative uh, pre poems. These are the ones that weren't sure as what hers was. She didn't like mine, but she did. <laughs> Read them and them. I watched the, each other's expressions change. Natsuki eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki uh, dismissively turns the poem to the desk on one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. It's and yours is cute. They don't like each other's cute. Did you compl I completely miss the symbolism or something? It's it's clearly out of the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I'm a, I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something... I was trying to say something nice. Uh, you mean you have to try hard to come up with something nice to say? That That's, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Uh, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm? Well, if you were looking for suggestions, I would have something... Someone who would actually like it. Which people did, by the way. Siori liked it. And Powder Milk did too. So based on that, I'm gladly give some suggestion of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to change any time soon unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. And Powder Milk liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh! I didn't realize you two were so invested in trying to impress the, our new member, Yuri. Uh? The music changed, I think. That's not what I... Uh... You're, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're... Um... I'm jealous of Powder Milk appreciates my advice more than you... Uh, my... Appreciate yours. They're fighting over a boy. Uh, not... 
<clears throat> and how do you know he didn't appreciate my, my poem more? And you're that at full of yourself. Uh, no. If I, I wasn't full of myself, I would definitely go out my way to make everything I do over at Cutesy. Uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the only one that, one of those boobs magically grew the size bigger as, as soon as powder milk started gro showing up. And Natsuki! Oh, uh, Natsuki, that's a little... That doesn't evolve. This doesn't evolve you. I don't want uh, to... <clears throat> I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they noticed I was standing there. Powder milk. She's, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. And if she gets over herself and learned to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then it, this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making the poems all, all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out of the reader, not force them to have to, to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, powder milk. What? What? There's no reason to have so many deep and expressive words in our language. That is only a way to convey a complex feelings in the most effectively. Avoiding them not only <clears throat> unnecessarily limited yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Powder Milk? Uh, well, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know owe anything about writing. But whoever I agree with, they'll probably j think I'm more highly highlighted of me. Let me see, Yuri. Yuri's me, drying the words that I ha had in my mouth. Instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri? Missouri expression is defenseless, but I can't bring up myself to say anything to her. Siori? Huh? Yeah? Everyone's fighting, so making Siori uncomfortable. How can you two keep fighting when you know you're making your friends feel like this? S powder milk? Well, that that's her, her problem. This isn't about her. I agree. That's unfair that others interject their own feelings into the con our conflict. Well, unless Siori wants to yell, you're, you're, wants to tell Yuri that what a stuck-up jerk she's being, she would never... It's your Im immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me, are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why, exactly why nobody likes- STOP! Thank you, Sayori. Please stop this. I was getting very uncomfortable in real life. Uh. <clears throat> Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to be- to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love of them because of their differences. Natsuki's poem? Um, they're amazing because you get of so many feelings that just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint a beautiful picture in her head. Everyone's so talented. So why are you free fighting? B because, well... Also, Atsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. They're both blush. That's hilarious. <laughs> See Yuri. Siori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her in a belittling expression. I'll make some tea. Sir Yuri washes off. Natsuki sits down in the blank expression on her face, staring, no saying nothing. So, this is why Siori is vice president. I whisper Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, but I can, organ I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't be bring myself to interject. As president, that's why I'm... I'm it's as president, that's kind of embarrassing for me. <laughs> nah... It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that means Yuri is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be a, a, an airhead, but sometimes it's really suspicious that she he knows exactly what, what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly to me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does uh, make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get a chance to talk with her a little more. Okay, everyone. So about time I'm first to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. Powder Milk, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. And it's about, it was a neat, neat thing to talk about uh, it with everyone. Awesome. Well, in that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Oh, no. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. So this, this is about poems. I th think to myself, did I learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes? So, 
with any luck, that means I can at least do better job in pressing those I want to impress. I'll nod to myself with a newfound determination. Powdered milk? Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Siori beams at me. It has truly been a while since Yuri and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Siori? What's... And what about what happened earlier? Yeah, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuke? Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I pr promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate, hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Powder Milk, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get al uh, along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> that's ev Every day is going to be so much fun. Ugh. It looks like Ixiori is still having caught up to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, our being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? There's just to see what the future holds, Yuri. I pat Yuri on the shoulders. Is he implying he wants to date them? That's what I'm going to say. I know this is a dating sim, but... I pat Yuri on the shoulder. I said more in myself than her, but it's really... <clears throat> to use Yuri as an internal mo monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. I'm going to save. I'm going to save here. Because I have to write another poem. So, I anyway, guys. I hope that this is enough for this episode. Because this has gone along far too long. Well, anyway, guys. I'll catch you guys later. And stay nerdy, my friends. Bye-bye.